Hello, welcome along to LFC TV's Premier League review show here on YouTube. The full show is available for you in our members area. Now, we're going to get into the goals first. Lots to get through. Only the one place to start, though. That, of course, is the first of the seven. It was Trent's goal. Well, he thinks he scored. The Premier League, though, say it was an own goal. Is that harsh or fair? It's Trent's goal. Just just give him the goal. I mean, they've taken it off him, and we'll show you why. But the build-up's good to, to get the free kick. Lovely little round the core from Nunez, you can see there, you can see the space on Soboslai. Soboslai's position is key here because the left back, the left full back's thinking, I can't go to Soboslai because then I'll leave Salah. Salah wants the ball. Soboslai's got the ball there. Salah's saying, give me the ball in a 1v1. He cuts back inside, wins the free kick in that position. Salah's saying, pass me the ball next time. But when this happens, you don't mind that, do you? You can see it's a brilliant free kick from Trent. Up and down, over the wall. Hits the crossbar. People are thinking it's gone in. And we'll show you just how it went in. It does hit the goalkeeper and go back in. I mean, it's so, so close, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it seems very harsh. But, yep, yeah, Premier League have taken it off Trent. And that is the reason why it hit the crossbar. Came back off the goalkeeper. Look at the wall. I don't think the wall did a particularly good job. You can see it's all over the place. Paulina didn't, decided not even to jump. Jimenez next to him is, is trying to jump and, and block it. This is where it, it beats the goalkeeper onto the crossbar. I mean, the goal is at full stretch. He's it, not done bad to get across, has he? The goalkeeper there, he's got a bandage on. He, he was had that collision with Diaz a few moments earlier. So, yeah, what we thought was an absolutely unbelievable first goal was still a great goal, but it would go down as an own goal, unfortunately. Liverpool back in front fairly soon after, though. 38 minutes, and if you thought Trent's free kick was good at this from Alexis McAllister, even better. Goal of the season contender. <laughs> yeah, we might have a few of them this season. This has got to be one of them. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely superb from McAllister. Known for maybe scoring penalties more than these sort of goals, but it's a beauty. There you go. Look at the position he has there. Oh, you don't stop them, them goalie at all. So absolutely magnificent. Diaz is trying to wriggle away from, from a few challenges. Falls lovely. There you go. A little bit of a line on it for you into the top corner. But well, how does it come about? I think for me, McAllister's a very clever player. So he recognises that as Jimenez, the centre forward, is laying the ball off to his mate there, McAllister says, there's a space. I don't need to take a touch because I can let it go over my shoulder into that space, get out of the way, referee, which is what he does. And he just uses the weight of that ball. Now, what's interesting is Pallina. I think he's one of the best defensive midfield players in the Premier League. He should be going down to close McAllister and thinking, well, why is he not doing that? Why is he not putting him under pressure? Try and get a block, try and make it a little bit more difficult. It's because he's so worried about Sobersly's position. He's probably thinking McAllister's not going to shoot. He's thinking, well, you have a shot from there because you're not going to score. <laughs> and he does. But there you go. So he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. And look at the position of Sobber's line. We are not going to get tired of seeing that. Whatever angle you see that from, there you go, right in the top bin. Goalkeeper's got no chance. Even Trent, look at Trent's reaction <laughs> there. He was uh, surprised as well. Yeah, magnificent to go back in front 2-1. Let's see that absolute wonderful... This was another great goal. It was a great goal. So we can see here, we mentioned about Kelleher being involved at the start there. Plays the ball to, to Virgil van Dijk. Here you go, there's the, the involvement from Mendo. It's only a little brief one, but a little touch. He's playing defensive midfield. But he thinks, why not? Why not? I'll make this run forward and go and join the attack and, and see what there is for me there. It's a good run from Gakpo. I think Gakpo makes a really good run saying, give me the ball. He's probably thinking Salah might pass it. He might get a shot himself at goal. But what he does is, and what Salah does, and what Nunes does, and what Diaz does, he creates a lot of panic from them Fulham defenders. Look at them all. They're all around the Liverpool attacking players thinking, don't give them any space inside the area. But by doing so... Look at what they've left on the edge of the box. Massive space for Rendo. So he's joined the attack. He's thought, why not? Well, well, I'll take a chance. And because Fulham are so worried about the attacking players, it leaves that space on the edge of the penalty. Here. There you go. We've highlighted Endo's run. So rather than sitting near the edge on the halfway line, he's joined the attack in that position and he gets his rewards. It's a, a ball from defence from Canate, but it's good movement from Nunes, we have to say that. He's looking to lengthen the game, make that movement in behind. He's onside, looking to run in behind that Fulham defence. It's good link-up play, good centre-forward play from Nunes to Salah. What's key for me is, if I'm in a position on the edge of the box with space, I need it to be a good pass. Salah gets an assist. Why it's a good assist, it's the weight of pass. It's the weight of pass onto Endo's stronger right foot and he thinks it's there to hit first time. If he plays it too firm, he might have to take a touch, a defender might get out and make a block. 
The weight of pass is brilliant from Salah for, for that assist. It really is. Best angle to show you for the goal. Here we go. That's what Endo sees on the edge of the box. He just sort of uses, I think it's Harrison Reed, just uses him to bend it round him into that far corner. Goal is at full stretch. You are not saving that. That is what you call top bin. <laughs> and I love this reaction. It's about to get the ball. We'll go and get a winning goal. And as we know, Liverpool were not done there. Still time for the winner. And no doubt about this one, this was Trent's goal. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely Trent's goal. I mean, the, the noise when it went in was brilliant. Here we go. We've put, we've put a stopwatch on for you because it's 3-3. Fulham take the kick off. Have a little guess. How long do you think it's going to be? We've got the timer in there. You can have a little guess now in this time. Fulham have the ball. They lose the ball very quickly. I think it's Nunes who ends up closing them down, win the ball back. We recycle the ball. Here you go. Gomez is involved. Canata is involved. Doesn't go back to the goalkeeper. Keeps the ball. Looking forward. What can we see going forward? Gakpo on this right-hand side. Good strength from Gakpo. Takes the ball off Endo, which we'll show you shortly. Look at it. It's getting creeping up towards 30 seconds. The first shot saved. Nunes keeps the ball alive. Simicas is involved. When's it going to hit the back of the net? There we go. Just under 33 seconds. Fulham have just conceded a goal, 3-3. And next thing, not even a minute's gone by, and the ball is in the back of the net again. It, honestly, the noise inside of it, it was brilliant. <laughs> it was absolutely superb. Uh, really enjoyable. So here we go. We, we've tracked Trent for you to show the position. He'd gone into midfield at this point. Gomez had come in at right fullback. Trent then was, was released into that midfield role. There's the position, just hovering on the edge of the box. Touch, we'll talk about his touch in a minute. The finish is unbelievable. Gakpo's involvement's key. Endo gets the ball. And Endo saying, Gakpo saying, I've got the momentum. I'm going to burst into that space. So he actually takes responsibility and takes it off Endo and goes, no, 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 I'm going to burst there. Gakpo, really good, thinking, what can I make in that position? Full and back away. So he thinks, why not? I'll have the shot. I like the anticipation from, from Darwin Nunes, looking for pieces, looking for the rebounds. He's onside. You can see he's onside there. So he keeps the ball alive really well there, Nunes. People were asking, is that a foul? No chance. Simicas and Reed, an honest challenge. And, it, and it makes up for it, doesn't he, there, Simicast, with what happened just before. Lays it off to the edge of the box. Now, what I'm saying about Trent's touches, he's in a position in space, he's thinking touch and hit, maybe on the volley, touch it in front and hit, but his touch is a little bit behind <laughs> it. Uh, and by doing so, he has to adjust himself. And Oh, wow, does he adjust himself? That is magnificent. How he adjusts his body to finish. This is a great angle. Last angle to show you of, of how he scores in the corner of the net. Look at that, just finds the gap perfectly. No chance again for the goalkeeper. And he enjoyed that. Nobody's taken that goal off him. What a winning goal that was. Yeah, the boss said he'd never seen so many worldies in a competitive game. But that worldie from Trent did cap the latest comeback Liverpool have had in the Premier League. You can see here the previous latest, they'd fallen behind in a game and then come back the 78th minute against Portsmouth. And that was back in 2009. Yeah, a couple of fair games I'll pick out for you on there. Oldham. 1993, Robbie Fowler scored the equaliser. The winning goal that day was scored by... It was a known goal. Um, <laughs> Fulham, we remember that Fulham one. I know Fulham were on the wrong, uh, wrong end of this one. Stephen Gerrard's 91st minute penalty. I remember that one. That was a, a big goal, wasn't it? So there's a couple of comeback wins for us there.